Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the restaurant table booking app video series part 13 and in this video we are going to cover a couple of important things and come let's get started. So this is the UI that you have already seen. So what we are going to cover in this video is we are going to cover the web API as well as the Angular part together and I'll walk you through line by line of code what has been done but what we are going to cover is we we know how to book a table but what if after the booking some customer comes and wants to check in and start having their meal so check-in process check-in process is what we are going to cover and I will show you how this check-in process works what are the APIs that are supported and what is the changes that we have to do within the UI so now you understand what is check-in, right? So what will happen? So you come here and then you select a restaurant, you select a branch, like for example, I select this restaurant, I select a particular branch, and I select a date. Let's say I'm going to book this table. Okay, so these are the information that a user is filling up and trying to submit. So what happens? This table, right? This table has been booked. So let's go and check what table is booked. Probably it's a branch A, this one. Okay, so it's going to be branch B. Okay, you see this? Now, this table is booked and it's ready to check in. But this check in came only because there is something called, uh, you know, the email ID. So, what happens is now it says booked. Now, uh, the customer walks into this restaurant and then they say, Hey, I have booked. A table and I wanted to check in that employee who's on the restaurant side they will ask okay sir give me your email ID that you used to book your table and then customer provides the email ID he gives the email ID he types it the moment he types it it goes and checks all the tables whatever is selected on the date and then so the moment email ID matches the table which he has booked will start showing as chicken. It will not show for any other table. Let's say this is also booked. Okay, I went ahead and booked this table on a different name. Uh, okay, so it's on mike at the gmail.com. So you see this when this is also showing as booked, this is also showing as booked. Only this is allowed for chicken. Why? Because this is the user's email ID. So you see this, the moment I changed, this went off and this one changed as check-in. So based on which customer comes, the employee will be able to check in them easily, right? Now, let's say I wanted to check in. The moment the employee clicks on check-in, the request gets initiated. The check-in status changes from booked to check-in, check-in to checked in. So let's go here. Let's choose the date uses. Now it shows as checked in. This is still as booked. Okay. Now our goal of this application is the, the complete table booking app, right? So right starting from booking the table, customer comes and checks in and he or she will have it. Now when the customer goes out, okay, the checkout process also happens, meaning the table will be available. So that part we will do it in the uh, you know after some time maybe in the next video or maybe an automated uh, function which which look for a checked in uh, record and after an hour or two our window automatically that will change to available the moment it changes to available someone can come and book it here okay okay so for a given time this is done now what we have to do is uh, we, we need to see how to do it, right? So let, let's go one by one. Let's go to the endpoint. So what I have done in the endpoint is we have a reservation controller and the reservation controller in the previous video itself I showed you there's a post endpoint where we pass this information and that's where we book a table. The only endpoint that I've added here is reservation check-in. This is check-in process. Okay, now one more thing that I have changed is for this endpoint, for this endpoint, what I have changed is along with all this information, I am trying to send the user email ID also. The reason why we want this is we want this information to be on the front end so that when we do this uh, search against the email ID, we will be able to figure out which is booked by which person. Okay. 
so that is what the change has been done so now let's go ahead and take a look at this endpoint let me quickly show you all right so this is the uh, model that we used and in this model i just added one more property okay so now this model is used here what we have done so far is this part was not there so all what we are doing is we are joining the reservation table into the user table based on the user id okay the so user id is present for reservation at the moment some user is checking in that will be present here okay you can see the reservation table and the user table so user table will have the incremented id this id is nothing but the user id sitting in the reservation table so we know which user booked which slot based on these two id so all we do is we do we join these two tables based on the user id and then we filter the time slot id so we then filter the time slot ID. you see this particular user which time slot he booked so if you filter that you will be able to get the email id for each and every single dining table that has been automatically added so once we have this information let's see how this works so i'm going to open the developer tool okay so let's let's see say i'm choosing this one and you can see the response see if the email id is null which means this slot is not booked by any user it's all null but if the email id is present we know with this slot see this slot is booked by which person so when we type here we match this in the ui which i will show you the code and then based on that this button gets enabled and we use to get all the information so that's the whole thing so now let's go back and quickly see what has been done here so i added something called i reservation uh, repository this reservation repository is very simple i have moved the existing two methods here the only thing that we have added as part of the new one is update reservation async what this does is it accepts this model as the input and then all what it is doing is the moment you say check in it will go and find the existing user based on the email id that was provided and then it changes the table status from booked to check in also it will also change the reservation status from booked to check in both the tables will get updated and we use the db context dot table name dot update pass the entity this entity is tracked so this will be passed here same thing will be passed uh, here so this will be passed this will be passed both will be passed and finally we make a save change async and both will be booked as uh, i mean both will be changed as booked okay great so that's all all about this uh, endpoint so this endpoint is now being accessed by the reservation servers it's just a chain and then eventually it will go to the controller here so if you go to controller we have a new controller called reservation controller and let me minimize this and let's say i have something new endpoint so basically this endpoint name is chicken okay it is going to return the same model that has been received and what it is doing is it will receive this information this is the information that we sent them back and the same thing will be coming as like the which one you're choosing right so once this information comes it's more than enough we have if we have reservation we have user id we have everything that we want so we check the model if everything looks good we're okay to process if something is not looking good we will send them the basic 400 bad request so once you go here this goes and calls the repository and then the repository whatever i explain we just update the table status of the time slot table as well as the reservation status in the reservation table that's it guys so this is the api and uh, we don't have anything else in the api and considering the angular all what we have done is we have to go to the search endpoint i mean the search restaurant component and in the component if you see i just added one extra search one so here is the thing so user email id so you see this this is the only extra section they added so all what i have added is i have added an ng model that has the user email id user email id is then is present here see initially empty so the moment you type something user email id will be automatically populated because it's a two-way binding they're using a 
in G model, so it's a two-way binding. Once this is done, we come all the way through where we populate those, uh, you know, the boxes. So in that boxes, very simple. Again, let me expand this. Okay, I hope this is better. Okay, so here what we do is we added a third button. Okay, third button and that calls the check-in reservation uh, method which we will see. But here is the trick. Right? So we are saying whatever email ID that has been there in the ng model, right, where we type, that should match with the contents user email ID. If that matches and the table status should be booked, it should not be available or checked in, then this button is enabled. So once this button is enabled, this method is enabled and let's go to this method. You see this? This is again a simple method. So it just accepts whatever we received and it just sends that object. Once this object is sent, we call a new method called update reservation. That's there in the reservation service. This is a new service that just uh, the service was already present. I just added the, um, you know, the update reservation, and this is nothing but the new endpoint that we just spoke about, right? Okay, so this is the the method that we spoke about in the endpoint. So we call this method, and then we post the data. Once the data is back, it should go back to our service here, and then we say you have checked in now, and it's time to enjoy your mail. That's it, right? So so you can see this. Actually, we call this endpoint let's see what is there all right so we have an option here right so the moment this this customer has wanted to check in see the button is enabled now let's say for this one you remember this is the bunch of data we received right so this branch id this this exact information this piece of information is what we are going to send back when you click on check in once this is sent we have enough information to process so let's hit on check in See check-in is triggered and you can see the payload. Payload is exactly same. So once the payload is sent, we receive the response back what we sent and we receive 200 requests. Once that is done, you can choose this restaurant B and see what happens. See all these customers got checked and they are ready to eat their meal. And that is what this video is all about and uh, we are progressing for the series. And in the next video, I'm going to start with the ADB to C configuration. And this time it will be interesting because we're going to do with the role based application. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.